All right, so I'm getting ready to uh, solder the uh, first of the SparkFun PCBs. Um, I was just looking at the, the guide here for uh, Curious Inventor um, as I was talking about the build. And um, what they're saying is that in terms of, as you're actually soldering the stuff together, you can see the, the diodes um, positions have like a little, uh, little line that separates them out. And um, if you look at the actual diodes themselves, the, the little black part on the diode um, over on this side um, is the bit that has to line up with the uh, kind of little indentation on the uh, the image there. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, go to curiousinventor.com and look at their build guide uh, to get more information about this. That's what I'm working off of right now. But I uh, just went for the soldering iron to heat up, and then we'll go from there. So um, as it turns out, these, these diodes are uh, really pretty tight fitting. Um, I found the, the easiest way to get them fitted in is to uh, take a pair of needle nose pliers like this and um, just twist the ends as close as you can. Um, usually when I'm, I'm fitting components, I have this, uh, this tool here that's used for um, uh, you know, bending them to the, to the right proportion, but even the smallest um, option on here wasn't small enough to work for these diodes. So I'm just gonna bend them all manually and slot them in and uh, get them set up, set up like so. So this is just to show the diode again. Um, this has to be uh, bent as close as possible. And the um, little black line here, that's the bit that lines up with the little thin line on the side of the, the diode on the SparkFun PCB. So uh, I just took a pair of needle nose pliers and bent the, uh, bent the wires as close to the body of the diode as possible. All right, so there we go. That's our uh, our diodes all uh, positioned and ready to be uh, be soldered. Um, see, they're all the right way around. Hopefully, I took a close look at them with the microscope to make sure. Or the microscope, but yeah, magnifying glass. Um, so uh, I'm going to start soldering them now. Now, um, something I've learned uh, from uh, different guides I've looked up, it's always good to take a really close look at the joints that you've made. Uh, I've got a couple in here that might be a little bit suspect where I've got some big blobs, so I'm going to take a look at these with my uh, magnifying glass and, and see if they, uh, if they look good. Okay, so uh, those actually all look pretty good, um, so I'm uh, going to go ahead and clip the leads off. Uh, one of the things that the uh, Curious Inventor blog says to do is uh, clip these as close as possible because um, you don't want to interfere with the action of the button pads, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, and with that the uh, diodes are on the board. So uh, I think I'm going to keep working on the diodes because I'm kind of getting into a flow here and then um, after I get done with those I think I'll turn the boards over and do the LEDs. Alright, so uh, I've finished the first four boards getting all the diodes on. Um, that's all looking good. So uh, next step's going to be um, getting the LEDs in. And um, again the LEDs go on this side. 
And uh, the thing to note is that the flat side is for the negative. Um, so make sure when you're putting the, um, the LEDs in that the longer pin goes into the other side and the shorter pin goes into the flat side. So um, as you're looking at the LED pads, you'll notice that there's, um, there's four holes. So uh, you might be wondering if I've got an LED that only has two pins on it, where do they go? I wanted the same thing. Um, so here's my LED. Um, what you want to do is put the LED into the middle two holes. So uh, again, the, the long side uh, of the LED needs to go into the side that is not flat on the board. So if I take the long side here, put it in the not flat bit. And push the rest down. Um, that's how they go, and then you leave the other two holes um, open with nothing in them. So that's that. So I'm going to get uh, all the LEDs put into all the boards and uh, start soldering those in. So um, something I've noticed as I've been soldering these is uh, these, these holes are really close together. Um, so in a case like this, heat is your friend because uh, solder will only flow into something that's, that's hot. So um, I've got a really fine tipped uh, soldering iron. Um, you're going to need something like this to get this kind of work done. Um, and uh, yeah, just kind of heat the, heat the joint up, get it nice and hot, and then uh, put the solder in and let it run into the joint. Um, these look pretty good at first glance, but I'm going to take a look at the magnifying glass will make sure they're all good. Alright, so that's all four circuit boards done. Um, all LED'd and dioded. So uh, next, um, the Curious Inventor Guide has you wire these things up next, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder the um, unsped shield since uh, I just feel like it, so that's what I'm going to do.